Congratulations on the films, guys. Thank, Thank you. Very much. you. Um, I remember I spoke to um, some of the guys who made uh, Official Secrets, a film that was very much about a news story, about how news kind of doesn't penetrate the same way that films do. Um, I just wonder, for you as actors, how important do you think it is that f these kind of stories are told on film so that they can be consumed by more people than, say, a really news story can? Really important because it's, it's issues that are affecting, uh, affecting, affecting families <laughs> all over Europe. And I've been travelling around Europe promoting the film and it's really like, it's been discussed. Um, people are thankful that it's been shown and talked about these issues. Um, so I think it has a film can have a really positive effect and gets conversations going. Yeah, for you as a young actor, obviously you're you're part of I guess the new generation who are coming into this world, like especially in the UK. Have you have you seen much in terms of your research where you've been quite scared as to what is happening and what could happen in in the future? Yeah. Uh, well. As our generation, yeah, we have this sort of big opportunity yeah, to like fix what, like, sort of say, Debbie's generation have done. If uh, you are not mine, thank you very much. No, but like, you get the general <laughs> point. Yeah. You get the ones before that. <laughs> well, the ones before that, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, uh, we have that big opportunity to fix that, but obviously, young people these days are a bit scared to like do certain things. Where, like, if they go see certain types of movies mm -hmm. and they explain that it's okay to do it, or if they watch certain types of media mm -hmm. and explain that it's okay to do it, and then, mm -hmm. then they would be able to have the confidence to go out and save vote and stuff like I that. I think, to be honest, I think young people are a lot more informed now about politics and things that are going on in the world. Um, like, obviously, they can go and vote, and then more, more young people are looking at vote and what's going on now in our country, we're in a right mess, and more young people are ready right saying right we've had enough now yeah in my in my other day job I, I i work in retail so i've i've had a contract but then to see the zero hour contract stuff kind of come up I mean, yeah. it's, it's kind of frightening in the sense that how many people are yeah. affected by this and how it's affecting their put so much pressure yeah. on them well it, it, it was brought in by the gov the tory government to lower the unemployment figures wasn't mm. it and if this B boris is nonsense goes through, that's how work will be. Because what they're going to do is going to isolate people so there's no support, there's no union, no nothing. That will be the norm. So the young people need to vote, don't they? Yeah. Vote no. Yeah, next <laughs> one. Um, I just wanted to touch on working with Ken. I mean, he's such a great filmmaker and brings these stories to life in such a great way that it almost feels like you're watching a documentary in a yeah. sense that he's bringing it to life and giving you guys the freedom to kind of bring these characters. How was it working with him? Because I can imagine it was such a such well, a pleasure. It, it's brilliant. It's he's, he's he's such a caring man. He treats everyone the same. You travel together, eat together, you laugh together in between takes because it's quite obviously it's heavy. Um, you, 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 the script's solid. But we're not allowed to see it. We get our bits. We learn our scripts. We deliver. Um, we were not allowed to see what other characters are doing, so when we view it at the end, we're like you, like we see it all put together. Um, so it's really special. It's like a surprise for us too. And you do get surprises throughout the yeah. filming process as well. He likes to do that. Yeah, how is it for you as a young actor working with someone of his pedigree? I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I didn't know who he was at first. <laughs> but, and then I did my research and I realised how important he is, yeah. But I thought, not, like, not to be rude or anything, but I thought he was going to be, like, a bit full of himself a little bit, yeah. yeah. But then you meet him, and he's, like, completely different to what you would expect. No. He's, like, just such a gentleman, basically, yeah. He's, like, such, he's just so kind to you, so positive. He, he never, like, gives you wrong if you did something wrong mm -hmm. in the scene or anything like that. He's just, he just goes, you did well, and then mm -hmm. continue doing it, and, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's just an amazing man in general. Yeah. yeah. Just as a final question then, I mean, it's, it's such an important um, film and such an important kind of story for, for many, many reasons. Are you hopeful that this helps to push the conversations in the, in yeah. the right, right way? I hope it causes um, conversations about how it affects people, pe people's mental health. Um, I hope it looks at the way care workers are treated and how they work because it's not a business. As soon as you start putting care or education on or like if you said like saying they're talking about selling the NHS, NHS, those things are not businesses. They're about people. And as soon as you start treating it as a business, you lose what it's all about. So she, Abby's like, you know that they don't get enough time to see that they're the the people that they care for. Now they've got to be called clients. Um, they're like ticking boxes when somebody needs the help, you know. And usually a care worker would 
it wants to be there for the full amount of time that the job needs to be done but then they, they're like ticking boxes as if he's doing his deliveries and his box is beeping do you know what I mean mm. it's wrong it, 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 it needs to change people yeah. need to look at about um, do they need to order that thing for the next day as well and the effect of that on the environment like Lots of things need to be discussed. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!